Hi! DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and it's the blueprint for all living things. It's a fairly simple yet very elegant molecule that codes for every complex living thing you've ever seen or even heard about. In the next few videos we'll be talking about how it can possibly do all that. You already know the shape of DNA. It's a twisted ladder, a double helix. The deoxyribo part of the name of DNA stands for the sugar deoxyribose and the sides of the ladder are made up of that sugar deoxyribose and phosphate. Bonded to each of those sugars is a nitrogenous base. The bases stick out into the middle and that's what makes up the rungs of the ladder. There are four bases. Adenine and guanine are purines, thymine and cytosine are pyrimidines. Purines are double ring compounds and pyrimidines are single ring compounds. Adenine always bonds to thymine and cytosine always bonds to guanine, so each nitrogenous base pair has one purine and one pyrimidine. The bases bond to each other with hydrogen bonds, and as you probably remember, hydrogen bonds are weaker than the covalent bonds that hold the rest of the molecule together. This makes it possible to unzip the molecule in order to make more DNA, or when you need to make a copy of it. The bases make up the code, which tells the cell what proteins to make. The code is made up of words that mostly stand for amino acids. You'll remember that amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. The words are three bases long and they're called codons. For instance, guanine thymine adenine, GTA, that's one word that stands for the amino acid valine. There are 20 different amino acids and the sequence of bases in DNA tells the ribosomes what order to put the amino acids in when it's building a protein. So DNA lives in the nucleus of the cell. It doesn't ever leave the nucleus except for when the cell's about ready to divide. Proteins get made out in the cytoplasm, so the cell needs to get the information that's on the DNA out to the ribosomes. And it does this by making a copy. A copy that's able to move outside of the nucleus of the cell, and that copy is messenger RNA. RNA is an awful lot like DNA, except instead of deoxyribose for the sugar, ribose is the sugar, and instead of being a double-stranded molecule, there's only one strand. It also has one different base. Instead of thymine, it has uracil. So when it's time to make a protein, DNA unzips and makes an RNA copy of the DNA. The RNA can then leave the nucleus of the cell and go to the ribosome where the protein gets made. We'll be talking about how all of that happens in the next couple of videos. But for now, stay awesome. I'll see you next time.